Today, we're going to embark in on going into what does it take to actually build a world class athlete? And we didn't start the school so that we didn't plan on not giving you the right answers and the pathway to build world class athletes like we have for the past eight years. Just in this school alone, we've built a multitude of Golden Glove champions. And we built a multitude of elite level coaches who are working with world class fighters right now. And it's not our job to get in here and pacify like those who think small. So if you are thinking big, then this is the process that you must use in order to get it. And let me tell you a little backstory about where the process actually came from. There's a place we call Mount Olympus of boxing. This is a mountain that has five of the greatest minds in boxing to ever grace the game. And four of those five minds were poured into this program because it was poured in through me. These individuals literally were the salt of who I am. And it's the salt of the program that you guys are going to learn in the school of boxing. We're not simply just showing you how to teach boxing. There are four quarters that this program is actually built upon. And the first two quarters is to teach you the, the direct development process or the direct developmental process that you build an amateur from the beginning phases to the elite phases of amateur boxing so that they can then transition themselves into the pros. First quarter is getting your guys to the place where they can actually compete and win at the local levels and even in the states. Just in the first quarter, you can do that. Now, a lot of you have jumped in and you got into the skills guide and you are using the skills guide, but what the skills skill guide does not have is the actual guts of how to build a champion. That's a process of how to train people for muscle memory. Here's what you have to learn when you're building world class fighters. And I learned this and I didn't really start learning this thing about elite level until I was in my 12th, 13th year. So we're talking almost 15 years thinking the exact same way you did, thinking that I'm just one skill away. I'm just one training day away. But here's the here's the rub. Those people that are on that mountain proved to me over the course of time that it's more to it than just skills. So I must take you through the progression, this blueprint of this, this thing that we had to manifest. I've watched champions be transitioned from good fighter to great to champion. And I've taken part in watching the guy who's now literally started boxing, built a name, became world class and then has gone into the hall of fame. I, I actually watched that happen. So I saw the whole process and I learned a lot from these individuals and this individual in particular about developing a skill and developing high level skill versus the skill that you have in amateurs. That's why this program is based on learning how to transition athletes from a lower level to the higher levels, to the pros and to the championships, because that was my experience. I've been in it for decades. And some of you guys who joined and not quite sure, but the school of boxing is not about anything less than learning the process of building elite fighters through a process. And you can use it to do it with clients cross train. But this process encompasses all of the things that you need. First, you're going to need to have awareness of how should this athlete train their body physically, because you have to learn the process of knowing exactly what they're doing, if it's too much or if it's too less. If you have a blueprint of what they should actually be doing to prepare them for whatever level they're in, then you're going to be all right. But the key is not putting yourself in a position where you're they're learning too less or doing too much because it's going to all fall back on you. Now, some of you are in a position where you are doing 
exactly what most people have done because that's kind of what's available. There's not a lot of systems directly in front of your face, but there is a lot of skills and techniques and tips. But let's take you away and let's tell you what's different about the school and what's unique about the school. You see, what we did is take that process and refine it. So what I'm going to do is show you exactly what you go through from taking an athlete from one level, not just showing up at the gym every day and training with them and hoping for the best. This is how you develop any level guy, a guy who doesn't have high levels of attributes and he doesn't he wasn't born with all of these unique talents. This is how you take that guy and turn him into a champion. So with that being said, let's dive in because I want one thing to be clear. If you don't have high aspirations, please remove yourself and position yourself over where in the skills group where we have 3000 members and here it's 180. And the reason why that is is because most people think you can do it with just skills. So with those people, we want to bundle those individuals over there and let them feel until you learn that there's a reason why high level boxers are separate from the other 98 percent is because one people, one group of people have a perception. The other people are dealing in reality and they've been connected to the Mount Rushmore of boxing they understand there's a process so i'm going to show you what's unique that you guys got to realize to take part in in the school and if you are in the school this will refine your commitment to perfection this is step by step how you should operate for high level boxing and going into this new era it's important that you guys have the right recipe. So here's the recipe. If you're working with fighters and you have aspirations to take them to the world-class level and be at a point where they reign supreme, this is what it looks like. You guys steal it from me and just utilize it. So the first thing that you'll see is you go into this thing and this is what to expect. We want you guys to understand that this isn't just a bunch of conversations that have absolutely nothing to do with your progression. This is about me, myself. I got the opportunity to work with guys who are at a low level and then build them up. And then the progress here is this is what to expect. So you have to set your expectations. Your expectations are all about knowing exactly how this thing should look when you're doing it at the actual highest level of boxing, this is the overview of exactly what you must do right now. If you want to be elite in the training field of boxing, taking a fighter from this level, learning his basics to a level of operating at an entirely different stratosphere. And when you understand how to take these guys through the progression, know what the progression is first, the strength and conditioning. Why do you need to understand what strength and conditioning is? Because you need to be conscious of what a fighter actually does. Now, I remember when my coach told me, I thought I was refined. So I used to do light resistance training, high repetition. After the fact, I used to start up, I was doing a little bit more heavyweight trainer because I wanted that look. So I stopped doing that and started doing more refined training. I was doing high repetition, you know, every single day I was training the body. I was like, well, I'm not going heavy. So my coach told me, son, and that's how he sounded, son, let me explain something to you. There's a ratio in the body, muscle density, blood, oxygen. There is only enough to go around for one particular focus. If you're building the muscle, then the oxygen is going to go to the muscle. The blood is going to be extract is going to have oxygen extracted from it to feed the muscle. The more dense the muscle is, the more oxygen is required to help it operate. So I stopped doing any heavy weight, started doing light reps, high rep, high reps, light weight. 
I could not lose the body mass still. And when I was working with these fighters, I'm giving them encouragement to do lightweight. But over the course of months and months and months, I realized that everybody's weight was still going up because the body was so dense that every time they ate, it was feeding the muscle and the muscle would grow even with lightweight. So that concept in my own head, I had to learn the hard way. And that was years of figuring this out. Now, could I make you look like you're the champion? Yeah, but that doesn't perform. So we had to make sure that you guys had in the school proper strength and conditioning because 100% of you are overtraining. You will be surprised at how much you train in the right system, how less it actually takes because there's just so much more that you don't quite understand about taking a fighter from a lower level and building his career on the, the, the method in which you're grooming him and developing his skill, developing his understanding of the sport and giving him total clarity that your experience or the people that came before you, that process that you're following have already proven this to be the Bible. And I got direct benefit. I'm a sole beneficiary of that, that blueprint because my blueprint was off course. And I don't want you guys' blueprint to be off course.